Stop looking, listen. I see 2025. I'm here with James at ICAM. The missing piece have been you guys. So as we've been advocating for AV over IPOE, always lighting has been part of that equation, but we haven't really been able to interface with someone that actually understands the importance of lighting within the realm of AV and broadcast. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your story and how ICANN came to be. A great question, Sia. Thank you so much for your interview. Um, ICANN is based in Houston, Texas, and we were founded in 2005 with a focus on broadcast video technology. So we've been around for close to 20 years now. And in terms of our lighting, we've been doing TV studio lighting for well over a decade. And so the lights that you're seeing here is special in the sense that these are broadcast lighting that are shown and, and seen in TV stations across America, well over 100 TV stations. And yet we've converted them into PoE technology. So a single RJ45 CAT cable is simultaneously power and controlling these lights. And the control is through ArtNet and SAC, and so standard DMX over IP protocol. And in addition to that, we've also partnered with QSIS, which is a great AV automation platform. And so that allows more corporate customers who want to do broadcast to adopt a platform and a technology and an interface that they're very comfortable using. And I wanted to ask you about that piece where DNA, uh, sorry, DMX over, uh, over the network. Now, NDI allows that. Is that what you're using? No, we are not. Correct. NDI DMX control is a relatively newer protocol that's used for D, uh, NDI. But no, we are specifically using a, a more ubiquitous lighting control protocol for lights. So the entire world of lighting control, whether it's live events or broadcast, if, not, if you're not using traditional DMX 512, then generally you're going to be using DMX over IP. And so, so um, ArtNet and SACN are the most ubiquitous forms of lighting control. Um, NDI over DMX is a very interesting protocol that we are exploring. But that being said, on day one and in the world of today, 99.99999%, if not 100% of all lighting over uh, DMX over IP is using those two protocols. And of course, you mentioned the QSIS adoption. Yes. That integration is great because obviously they've, they've got such a very intuitive system yes. and that for control and they've really thought thought through that. Mm -hmm. So tell me about what other collaborations are on the horizon for ICARE. That's a great question. Um, so I'll, I'll speak to QSIS first because QSIS is not about only about the comfort of a UI that the AV world is comfortable with. It's about automation, right? And that's the most important thing because in the traditional broadcast world, it's, there's a high learning curve to know how to control a light board, a video switcher. So automation is an important ingredient for corporations who don't have a resident broadcast operator engineer to be able to use this technology. So th this is why we're, you know, they're such a great fit. Um, in terms of partnerships uh, beyond QSIS, um, uh, Netgear AV is one of our core partners, right? These lights don't come with any power supplies because they're POE. Yeah. And so we partnered with Netgear. They are the, you know, they're the source of power and data transmission for all of our lights. They're great partners. We do partner with NDI, as you mentioned, but on the teleprompter and monitoring side. Okay. So if I want to shift your camera and attention over, I want to showcase potentially this is a brand new product that we will release very, very soon. This is the world's first POE and NDI teleprompter system. So again, the same philosophy with our lighting has been transformed into a monitor for both scripting and talent in the teleprompter system. What that means is a single RJ45 cable is simultaneously powering a 1000 nit, so very high bright monitor, that's POE++. In addition, that same cable is transmitting the NDI, full NDI feed, as well as any control, remote control through NDI, as well as through our own protocol, uh, API protocol. And the reason we have our own API protocol is because this product will also talk and tie into QSIS as part of an automation philosophy of ours. 
One piece that you mentioned there is about lowering the barrier to entry. And I think what's, what I'm seeing is a lot of these silos between audio, video, lighting now, those silos are breaking down so that you've got one person, you mentioned the talent, can now, let's say, do complete remote production of, of their own. They can be the producer, they can be the editor, they can be the talent. They are the one-man show. Now that technology is, is really powering that. Um, are you seeing that as well a lot more so that you, smaller teams can essentially utilize your technology within their workflow? Absolutely. I mean, when we look at cameras, right, in a traditional um, studio environment with three-point camera, you, 10 years ago, you would have need three camera operators. Yeah. Now it's three PTZs with one operator in the control room. Yeah. And that operator is probably controlling sound and lights and video and a couple of other things, right? Yeah. So you are talking about the consolidation of the workforce. Mm -hmm. And again, automation is gonna be an important ingredient because mm -hmm. that one person who's doing multiple tasks, that's a high learning curve and really a high stress job. Yeah. So to the sense that that person's work can be automated, it will take pressure off that person, it will reduce errors. And, and yes, in the long run, that could potentially lead to further consolidation and reduction in the production crew. That, that is unfortunately a reality of how you know the economy the economics of video production and tv broadcast what's happening um so great question yeah. absolutely so where can people go to find out more information about ICANN? great question you can go to www.icancorp.com again we're based in houston texas but we do have a reseller network across the entire world lovely thanks so much have a great show thank you so much come on y'all remember my name this is the day with it. Oh, yeah.